You don't need to go to Niagara Falls when you can eat some Brian Falls. What is up, NASCAR Diecast Collectors? The Diecast viewers on YouTube. This is Original Big Brian here, and welcome back to my final Wave 10 NASCAR Authentics Diecast review. I know, <laughs> uh, but we still got a lot more stuff to talk about because after this, guys, we got some Wave 11 NASCAR Authentics Diecast reviews. And no wave 12. But without uh, further ado, let's go ahead and start the diecast review of one of the most hyped up throwbacks that we got for this year for our fun and team. Ladies and gentlemen, we got the one, the only, Matt Di Matt Di Benedetto, or as I like to call Matt Di Marito in the number 32 Keen Parts Corvette Parts.net. Don's a throwback for Jeff Burden in the Ford Fusion driven by Go Fast Racing. That was quite a mouthful, and I probably should have shortened that out a little bit more, but you guys probably know the references. But yeah, guys, this is a Jeff Burden Darns to Throwback, which is funny because we also had a Jeff Gordon Darns to Throwback in this wave as well. So that's pretty appropriate considering that they're both uh, Jeffs and they're both uh, analysts for different networks. So Lionel Racy, man, they definitely got some some really brilliant sense of humor or some weird coincidences. Coincident coincidences. Uh, I can't talk right now for that matter. But, um, yeah, really nice looking car. I'm looking forward to this review, guys. This this car, along with the uh, William Byron throwback, literally screams out CHILDHOOD, like, in all caps, CHILDHOOD, like, flashing. <laughs> but, um, yeah, here's the back if you guys want to see that and all the copyright information, you know, the boring stuff. But without further ado, let's go ahead and start the diecast review and the unboxing of the Matt Dean Burrito Dawn's Throwback Car. Alrighty guys, we got the diecast out of its box and before we get things started on the Matt Dean Burrito Dawnson throwback car Let's take a look at the little accessory that comes with this and it is a gorgeous one I mean, yes, it is the three-dimensional plastic hood that you know some people do like but wish they were magnetic But you know, oh well, I guess we got to do the dirty work for ourselves <clears throat> Well, I know but really nice guys. I mean, this is a really nice looking uh, plastic hood that we got um, Look at that. We even got Jeff Burden's a uh, fake autograph on there so really cool but just uh man this uh car man huh, just beautiful i mean how i love the uh, lightning bolts on this car speaking of lightning bolts guys this car is just ah uh, i know this okay insert cringy comment right now this car is lit okay there i i said it now you can guys could go home and you know bang your head on the wall because you just heard the stupidest cringiest comments ever by yours truly obb but with the serious this, with the serious thought in mind, guys, this is a freaking awesome car. I mean, my God! I mean, Go Fast Racing once again creates another great looking Don's throwback car. Keep in mind, I do have another Go Fast Racing car to compare for this diecast, so that's why this is not the first time we've had a great Don's throwback car. But if you guys are late to the party or you guys don't follow the Don's throwback schemes. This is a darling to throw it back to one and only one of the uh, greatest, and I'm saying that with a lot of sarcasm, NBC analysis, Jeff Burden. Yep. Pretty interesting. I mean, it's kind of funny. He almost won the Darlington race uh, um, in 1998, but um, Jeff Gordon beat him, and ironically made a die cast of that <laughs> in one of the uh, other ways from NASCAR Authentics. So, heck. Like I said, line of racing, man. They uh, really know how to create some weird coincidences, coincidences when it comes to uh, NASCAR Authentics. I'm having a lot of trouble saying that word. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> I just did that. But um, for, for, for real, guys, I mean, even though I'm having a lot of fun talking about this diecast review, it, this is literally another car that, you know, was pretty well known in the late 90s, like 1998, 1999. But mostly this scheme is representing his 2000 scheme, which just looks freaking awesome. I mean, heck, when they first showed this, I was like, dude, that is the sickest paint job ever. And then I saw Kyle Bush's and uh, Ryan Blaney's. I was like, I'm so glad I I was born in the 90s. I mean, I'm a 95 kid, so, uh, well, man, <laughs> not a kid anymore. 23 is considered a man now. But, um, yeah, this is... um. This is just a so such a cool car. I mean, if you guys know the X Side Batteries car, you will automatically know what this paint team is. And it's such a burden that he got a DNF in this car, guys. He finished 38th at the Southern 500. I mean, go fast racing. You know, can't really say too much about it. Um, at least it looks like he's getting an upgrade to the Levine Family Racing team with the 95 cars. So, um, and it's actually in Toyota. So, who knows? He might 
pull off a win, but uh, just man, this guy just has some really cool throwbacks. I mean, uh, now the most appropriate throwback to do this, I mean, yes, we, this ain't the first time we've had a Matt DiBenedetto throwback. We also did have the number 83 Orange Crush Don's throwback from 2016, but that's not the car I'm going to do a comparison to. We got to look at the other Go Fast Racing throwback car from 2016, which was Jeffrey Earnhardt. The other, he was uh, the driver of 32 car before DiBenedetto went out uh bk racing and went to here so i mean of course this is a big difference some people are gonna know this car right off the bat but i mean as much as both paint teams look nice how the logos are represented i gotta admit the matt's bando car from this year looks so much better i mean yeah i mean this scheme is cool but the outer pops logo just completely ruins the scheme i mean it's just so out of place meanwhile the key parts logo really blends in well very nice with the paint scheme and just a shame that they couldn't do that with the jeffrey Earnhardt car but um definitely a big difference uh i even love the font guys i mean the font i mean um it's probably the standard go fast racing font but they did something to it that i just like it really goes well with this paint scheme i mean just um man i mean uh the man to know it's a lot of great schemes uh, I, I like the peanuts halloween card that he also drove um this year so just yeah guys i mean what, what more can i say about this car guys i mean definitely a better upgrade than the jeffrey earnhardt car but some people might like the jeffrey earnhardt car um but just i mean this is just a flawless scheme guys there's absolutely nothing wrong with this like i said it's a shame that he crashed this car and got dnf but you know Go fast racing, man. Not very reliable, but I'm looking forward to see what um, Matt has in, in store for 2019 with his uh, upgraded rides. So um, feel free to post your comments and thoughts below or any other memories you guys want to share. If you guys have any memories on this XI car, feel free to share them. I um, always want to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions on these diecast reviews. So that way I can make them as uh, crystal clear and um, great as ever. And entertaining, of course. So, <laughs> But um, thank you guys so much for watching this NASCAR Authentics diecast review of the Matt DeBell. Beninetto or Dean Burrito, number 32, Keen Parts, John's Throwback, or Fusion for Go Fast Racing. This has been a Rich Vibra. I thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys in yet another NASCAR Authentics Diecast Review, Wave 11.